today I am sporting my Easter Bunny ears. Yes, check them out. It's got glitter on there. I think my granddaughter Nova will really like these. So, today we are going to be doing a new and fabulous Easter treat that I decided to offer this year for sale. And it's called the Easter Pizza Cake. And so basically what you get is eight slices of your flavored cake, whether it be vanilla, chocolate, um, we probably could do some red velvet, lemon, strawberry, whatever flavor you like. It's just to give you a nice cake slice. A lot of people are selling cake slices now. And so I ordered some cute little neat cake slice containers. So I thought I would do the pizza cake. And of course, I ordered this. It's rubber once again. And I ordered this off of Amazon. Um, not too much. Nice little prefty thrifty price. I think it was like um, $9.99. And so these are everywhere. They're in TJ Maxx, Walmart, Home Goods. So you don't have to order off of Amazon. I just do because it can just come straight to the house and I know what I'm looking for. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and get started. Um, what we're going to need is to start off with doing baking a cake. So I just have a regular little white cake mix and as you all know we are going to doctor it up so that it tastes like it's homemade and basically by doctor it up we're going to put in the oil half a cup which is what is telling us to use on the box. So remember I told you guys, go off your box recipe. You can do this with plain cakes. So it says a half a cup of oil, and then where it says for one cup of water, we are going to put in one cup of milk. And this is what I mean by doctor it up. That milk just makes it taste homemade versus the water, and it's going to give you a nice amount of moisture. The box also says three eggs, and I always do four, four large eggs. And so that is the last thing that comes with doctoring up the, the box cake to make it taste like it's homemade. I will let you guys in on a secret. I hate cracking eggs. I mean... I'm always afraid I'm going to drop an eggshell into my, my batter. And even though I know you could just pick it out, I just still, I just, I just hate it. I don't like it. And I always struggle with it. And you would think as a baker that I should be over that complex by now. But I'm not... It's always the small things that worry you. So, we have our four eggs. Let me get something to wipe my hands. I have a nifty um, Easter egg towel, and I need to get it, find it. I'll be using that in the other episodes. So, we are going to just mix this all together. And I got my little hand mixer here. I did not get the hand mixer from Walmart or Amazon. I actually went to um, Bed Bath and & Beyond and got this um, hand mixer because I wanted something really nice since I baked. And I wanted something where I could show you guys when we're doing simple treats like this and you can see up close what I'm doing. I did get this clear bowl from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. When you're doing box cakes, even though we're doctoring them up, it doesn't take long. You don't want to over mix. So you basically just want to do like three to four minutes. Just get it all whipped together. So 
that's good. So basically, I'm just going to take my spatula and just make run it around the bowl. Make sure it's nice and mixed together. This is another easy treat um, to sell and for people. Um, I'm not sure if this will be able to ship or not. I'm going to try it because these goods, all these treats, I will be shipping to Indy to my family for Easter. To my grandkids and to my two daughters and to my mommy. Um, yes, I still call her mommy. Everybody who knows me knows that. Um, and if you want to know a secret about Lisa T, I am 49, but I still gripe about um, Easter baskets. It's something that my mother always started and did for us. And so at 49, I still get mad because my mom cannot send me or buy me an Easter basket. It is something about her eggs, her Easter eggs that she boiled. They are just, I don't know. She puts, she says she doesn't do anything different, but the taste of her Easter eggs and her doing me a basket has just stood the test of time. So now that we live in Georgia, um, I cried one year so bad because I didn't get a basket from my mother that my husband has taken over. <laughs> Thank God for my husband, Curtis, has taken over and he goes out and gets me a little Easter basket so that, you know, I can have something for Easter. And yes, I'm 49 and I still want Easter baskets. So um, that's a little nifty thing, a little nifty trick about Lisa T that you guys probably didn't know. But yes. Some things you just don't grow out of. So I make sure I do the same for my girls and my grandkids. So they will be getting Easter baskets as well. Especially my oldest daughter who has already placed an order for some Easter cookies. Because she loves them. So that's just a little tidbit. Um, we have, let's take our rubber cake pan here and... It, it says that you really don't have to spray the rubber, but I'm going to spray it just in case because I want my cake just to pop out. And I just use Baker's Joy, nothing over the top. And as you can see, I'm just spraying in. And this is just to make sure that my... Want to make sure your cakes pop out. Try me a new can, so I'm using it. Down to the core, I got a little left in here. Trying to get it all out. Okay. Voila! And so, to make sure that these are filled nice and evenly, as you guys know, when I sell stuff, I want it to be as perfect as it can. I'm going to fill a piping bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew, that spray got to me. Wipe my hand. I'm going to fill this piping bag so that we can get the cake down into those little areas evenly. And this part you don't have to do. If you want to fill it some other kind of way, that's fine. Um, this is what I've just chosen to do. I always try to find nifty ways and you guys always want to know how I actually do things. So I'm just going to take a scooper. It's just running. If you're going to be baking, you need to invest into some nice decorating bags. 
They're at Walmart. You can order. I order mine online, though. So, here we have the bag. Looks like a carrot, doesn't it? And I have actually, one second, some ties. So that your cake won't slip out. I have these little twisty tie things. And basically you just wrap it around your back. It's a little struggle when you got these nails on. So, once it's wrapped around, that took a little bit, didn't it? You want to just cut the tip off, whatever you're comfortable with. And then we will just fill. Up the little slight one. Let's move this up here. This up. Okay, we will just fill up the little slices. I say maybe about a third. I want these kind of thick. So I'm going to show you what I have so far before I fill up the other one so you can kind of get a look. So they're about a third filled. So I'm going to fill up the rest of these and then I'll show you an up close picture and then we'll pop these in the oven and I think it says that I need to bake it for like 20-25 minutes. Okay. Now you can see a view from the top of how the cake pan looks once it's filled. Once everything is filled in you want to go ahead and place it on a cookie sheet because it's rubber. You just don't want to sit the rubber in the oven. I'm showing you up close views about how much I filled it. So you can see it's about probably one fourth left going around. So we will pop these in the oven and then we will come back and get ready to decorate. So once your pizza cake has fully baked and you have let it cool, you're going to take it and remove it from the pan. And it's going to look sort of like this. Try to hold it up. And see, you have all your different sizes, slices already separated out. So it's in the circle of pizza. So that's why they're called pizza slices pizza cake. And all we have to do is get ready to decorate. I'm going to try to move the uh, camera in closer so you can see. So as you can see, it's a, it's a pizza cake. Okay, so we are going to get ready to decorate. And I'm going to take the camera off of me. I'm going to take the camera off of me so you, you can see up close um, how we're decorating to give you an upshot view. I will tell you what I have for decorations. So I have all the pastel colors. I have pink. And I have different nozzles on there. I have purple. We have yellow. 
green, and blue. I have some little um, candies that are shaped like Easter eggs, jelly beans. I have some little sprinkles here as well. And then I have some more little small sprinkle little dots. So you'll see up close um, how I am decorating each slice and then I will bring it back, um, the camera back on me and then we'll be done. Okay, let's get started.
Okay, I'm going to spin it around. I'm going to move the camera back on me and I'm going to show you an up close view of the cake now that it's finished. So, hope you guys enjoyed and could see me decorating. So, the pizza cake is now done. It is decorated in all the Easter colors. And we have all the individual slices. I'm trying to show you guys without it moving. Ta-da! Hope you really enjoyed this episode and got to see me up close doing some just some nice little Easter decorations, just adding some jelly beans and the nice little colors. Um, before we end this episode, I wanted to let you know that um, these will go in these nifty little cake slices. I ordered these little pans, plastic things off of Amazon, of course. And so that's how I came up with the little idea of you just having a nice little slice of Easter cake. And like I said, I'm going to be selling these and they're going to come in a variety of flavors. So you can have any cake flavor that you like. And then um, you'll have the Easter decor on there. And then they'll come in these little nice little plastic containers. And um, I think it's something different and something nice. So you, you're able to get... Um, your cake and throw in some ice cream and so you can say hey i'm having my easter cake and ice cream too so hope you enjoyed the episode don't forget to follow us on instagram at, at thomas edibles or subscribe to our youtube channel which is at thomas edibles as well um, if you want any of my free tips and tricks you have to be following or you have to be subscribed to thomas edibles either one and you will get any questions and anything you want answered, I am here to answer them for you. So that's all. And I want to say bye-bye.